Welcome back, everyone. There was a debate recently between Zakir Hussein and Dr. Michael Brown on whether or not Muhammad has prophesied in the Bible. I know, it's a real brain teaser. I'm not going to comment on the debate because it's basically what you would expect when a knowledgeable scholar like Michael Brown debates someone attempting to defend an embarrassingly indefensible position. But something occurred to me as I pondered Muslims' use of the Bible over the centuries, and I'll admit I have to give credit where credit is due. The Quran does contain a true, though inadvertent, prophecy. Surely there is indeed a group of them who twist their tongues with the book so that you will think it is from the book when it is not from the book, and they say it is from God when it is not from God. They speak lies against God, and they know it. Interpretations of this verse vary greatly. Some Muslims took verses like this to refer to a small group of Jews who concealed Muhammad's identity in the Bible. Of course, today, Muslims appeal to passages like this to argue for wholesale dismissal of the entire Bible because all manuscripts in every language were massively corrupted by some mysterious, unknown people at some unspecified time. Over time, polemics based on vague verses like these have expanded to meet the theological demands of Muslims. However, I can't think of a group of people on the face of the earth more biblically illiterate than Muslims. And debates like the one between Hussein and Brown are painful examples of incomprehensible Islamic ignorance. And so, we return to Surah 3, where we can definitively answer interpretive questions this verse has long raised. But now, having given it some thought, it becomes clear that the book the verse refers to is indeed the Bible, and the people twisting it with their tongues are Muslims. That's why we find Muhammad everywhere from the Gospel of John to Deuteronomy to books that apparently Allah has never even heard of, like the Song of Solomon. These Bible-twisting Muslims do indeed speak lies against God, and due to the tremendous ignorance of their arguments, some of them, at least, have to know they're lying. So there you go, I affirm the Quran does indeed have a true prophecy about Muslims twisting the Bible with their tongues. During the debate, Dr. Brown said he wasn't engaging because of respect for the arguments, as if it was an actual debate. He was there out of respect for Muslims. That's admirable. And Muslims, you should take advantage of that. There's a link to the debate in the description box, and I encourage you to watch it and see Surah 378 playing out in real time. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.